Well, it appears that Alec Baldwin might be screwed. Sup, Wolverines? Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time here, welcome. You're about to get a little less stupid. My name is John Crump. I'm the heavyweight champion of investigative journalism, and I bring you the latest news. We are brought to you by JSD Supply. JSD Supply makes some of the sickest 80% kits on the planet, including a safe P320 kit that is insane. They also make slides. The Patmos slides are incredible. Check them out at JSD Supply. If you're going to do me a big favor, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps with the battle with the algorithm, and we're going to kick that algorithm's ass. In today's story, we're going to go back and talk about Rust, and we're going to talk about why Alec Baldwin might be screwed. But first, let's remember Helena Hutchins lost her life, and that was a tragedy in all things that I can find out about her. She seems like a wonderful person, so... The main thing of the story is to remember her life. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin was the executive producer on Rust. And as the executive producer, you have control over everything. So that might be why he's screwed. But furthermore, the crew left the production because they thought it was unsafe, especially around firearms. So Alec Baldwin hired a scab crew to come in and finish the movie. So now we know that the safe handling of firearms and everything else was an issue on the production. So let's go ahead and talk about a few other things. First, when you are on a movie production, and I've been doing a lot of research into this, when you aim a gun, you don't aim a gun at someone. You aim a gun at a dummy point. So they set up a camera and you aim it at the camera. You don't aim it at anyone that's behind the camera. Apparently that didn't happen on there and they were doing it the cheap and fast way where somebody holds a camera and they point the gun at the camera. So that might get him into a little bit of trouble because he wasn't following safety protocols that is laid out by Hollywood itself. Another thing is that reportedly that gun was used for live fire practice. So they were do target practice with that gun with live ammunition. So that might be how a live round got in there. Originally, I thought the issue might have been a squib with a dummy round. And then after that, they put a blanket there. But apparently that wasn't the case. Apparently the it was a live round. So he might be in trouble for that because according to Hollywood procedures, you should not have any live rounds on the set when you are filming a movie with firearms. And that violates another point of the safety protocols laid out by Hollywood. So that might get him into a little bit of trouble there. Also, procedures say you always verify that the gun is empty. So whenever someone hands it to you, you're supposed to verify it's empty. The correct procedure is whoever's handling any firearms checks it to make sure that it's not loaded and there's no rounds in the chamber or anything else like that. And then they hand it to the actor and then the actor goes ahead and looks through it. I have seen behind the scenes footage of the John Wick movies and every time they handed Keanu Reeves a firearm to use in the movie, he always verified that it was clear. Also, Will Smith is famous for doing that so it is a procedure that you must do on set because if you fire that weapon then chances are you're going to be responsible for whatever happens also this wasn't the first accidental or negligent discharge on the set there was others in fact the guy that was handling the guns actually had a track record of unsafe firearm practices and had multiple complaints against him in the past. So let's go ahead and break this down. One, Alec Baldwin was the executive producer. Two, Alec Baldwin hired a guy that had questionable track history with firearms. Three, there was already accidental discharges on the set. Four, the crew left because of safety concerns. Five, 
Alec Baldwin hired scabs to fill in for the crew that left because of safety concerns. So with all that together, I think there is a great chance that he is going to be charged with manslaughter. And I would say it's a 100% chance that his ass is going to get sued in civil court. So there was a lot of violations of safety protocols, a lot of violations of everything. And this guy is an anti-gun nut who doesn't know enough about firearms to handle them safely. Unfortunately, someone lost their life and somebody else was injured in this incident. And I think that's the greatest takeaway that you have to follow safety protocols. You don't have to be scared of a firearm, but you also have to definitely respect the firearm. All right. So thank you for watching. I have a live channel where I do live streams with my buddy Flying Rich, who is a great guy. You got to check out his channel, Flying Rich. I also have a Patreon if you like what I do here, my investigations and stuff like that. I have about four going right now. You can go to my Patreon and help out a little bit with the funding of these investigations. They're not exactly cheap. So I got four going right now. I think one will come out next week, hopefully, if I get everything, uh, and the next one just won't be for like another couple months, unless I get another leak dropped on me, which tends to happen a lot. Actually, there is one that might drop sooner, but I have to find out. I have to get permission to drop that one because I don't want to burn my sources. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. If you like this shirt, you can get this shirt at Black Swan Tactical, by the way. It says AFT on the back. It's really cool. Thank you to Tusk for making this video possible. So, one more thing. Yeah, that's right. Wolverine's motherfucker.